Hi, my name is Abbas. I'm the Area Sales Manager for Altatera. And today we're here with uh, Bridgewater Homes to install the Dacia roof windows. Um, here's Andrew Cross, the Operations Manager, to tell you a little bit more about the project. So um, obviously it's a residential area, so it's had to be quite, quite delicate in, in the design approach. We've got a local architect, um, I think has done quite a good job in, in sitting it in keeping with the area. Um, it will, at the end, look like hopefully just three houses there. Uh, there's five storeys to the building. We've got a basement, a basement car park. Uh, the lower apartments are split over two floors. Uh, there's five of those. And then there's uh, nine other apartments split throughout the building. Uh, there's no penthouse as such. There's just three top floor apartments. They're actually the smallest, but they're the ones with the roof lights in. Um, we've got an AOV as well uh, uh, for fire purposes on the stairwell up here. And then each of these apartments has got four roof lights in. Um, just mainly to aid in bringing natural light into the building. It, it, it has the potential to be a little bit dark. Um, there is patio doors at the back and, uh, and a few more windows, but generally the roof lights there are to, to provide a bit of space inside for what could otherwise be a relatively small apartment. The area is quite an affluent area, and um, if you look around all the roof windows, um, they are all black on the outside. So to keep in um, with regards to uh, the look of the area, so we don't want, they didn't want to stick out too much, but did want something specific, quite high-end as well for the projects, uh, which is one of the reasons they have uh, went for our conservation windows. Um, initially, when we have a look at them, you know, he, um, we, we, you know, we showed him a sample of the window, um, the quality of the windows as well, um, together with the price and the availability, um, all ticked all the right boxes um, for this company and Bridgewater have used us today uh, for the first time, uh, like I say. And um, so it's our flagship product and it's for them, it's their first time as well. And this is a big project for them as well. So they're quite excited with the windows, uh, we are as well. And um, they have many more projects in the pipeline so hopefully um, they'll be buying more windows across the range that we do and um, you know give us more business to come. I bridge, I'd like to think I bridge the gap between the branch and the customers because um, what, what we, the information we can get out of them um, while they're sat at our counter or while they're on the telephone is very different to what we can get out of them on site. Um, I don't think they're, they're purposely guarded but in the branch they're always in a rush um, they're not always telling us exactly their needs so I think going out on site you actually really get to see what they need because um, that's very different to what they tell you. It, it was partly on price um, because obviously it's a big project um, and I know how the problems with managing a budget on a big project um, I'm, I've never known anyone to say that you know the, the quality was any less than a Velux for, for obviously the obvious comparison um, and yeah, Dakia Abbas was great at coming back to us with a quote. To be honest, he did much of the work. I just sort of forwarded it onto onto Andrew, and that was all I had to do. So it was just it was just an easy, obvious option, really. So the um, conservation window um, has a overall U value of 1.3. Um, the, uh, it's a double glazed unit with a um, lower emissivity glass in there and argon filled as well. Um, you get 10 years initially and then another 10 years once you've registered the windows. Uh, we chose the Dacia roof lights for a couple of reasons really. Um, I, I tender everything um, they came back at the best value for money. Um, the product itself I was a little bit unsure of until I saw the, uh, the mock-up model. Um, couldn't see any difference in that than anything that I've, I've fitted. It, it felt like a good window um, and hopefully it'll perform well. Uh, we went with the heritage range because there's a bit of a, again with the design, um, we want it to be in keeping with the area. We don't want to be just a boring, bland um, house builder. So they're black on the outside, mainly to give a bit of a shadow banding around the window. So there's a kind of a, a brindle dark red roof tile with a shadow band around the roof light. Not that anybody will see it from the roof, but as you fly over from Luton Airport, you, you should see a nice roof line there. Um, and yeah, that's why I went with the heritage ones. We've gone with electric openers for them all as well, because the windows are quite high up. We've got, that is a room in the roof, so the, the roof lights are probably three and a half meters off the floor. So we went with the electric options for those, um, make it a bit easier for our customers. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the building and why we chose Dacia.